Hi, so um, we went uh, to uh, Bambori Beach, me and my um, girlfriend, now fiance, and um, uh, we met a guy called Moses, who was the, uh, uh, who was uh, sort of selling stuff, he had a stand, um, he was talking, uh, you know, he had, showing he had a co uh, company and everything, uh, showed me his ID, um, uh, and booked us on a, uh, safari to, uh, to Savo East, um, from Mambasa, from Mambasa, uh, he would pick us up at our hotel, um, and then, uh, I mean, normally I would never accept anything like that because he did, you know, because it was beachfront and everything. Um, he said you wouldn't need to pay till um, we picked you up and you were going and everything. So I said, okay, fine, I'll give a thousand uh, Kenyan shillings as a deposit. I wasn't going to put any more than that um, in case it was fake or whatever. So anyway, we did that. Um, I still, um, I mean, it seemed it's. Not normally, I would. I, I did actually calculate the price. Uh, we paid two hundred pounds, which is equivalent to twenty six thousand Kenyan shillings for the whole thing. I calculated it based on the park entrance fee being fifty two dollars. I think it was for Tsavo East and five hundred and ten Kenyan shi Kenyan shillings because my girlfriend's dual citizen. Um, uh, and about five thousand Kenyan shillings for fuel, five thousand roughly, or ten thousand for um, car and everything. I worked it out to be about one eighty um, if I was doing it, and obviously someone else was doing it about two. Cause it was definitely going to be cheaper than that. So I thought two hundred was possible to get to Savo East. So I thought well, that's fine. Anyway, so we got on the. Uh, he picked us up at five a.m. Uh, we got in this van which had the extended roof things that go up and you can see um, the animals through the roof. Uh, we drove there. Um, I looked on Google and it said to get to Savile East it was five hours on Google Maps. So I was expecting it to be about five hours. We got about ten o'clock. He did say it was about three hours which I thought was a bit weird. But um, anyway, so we got. We, it took us three hours to get there. Which I thought was a bit too quick. We got to a place called Voi, uh, or V I V O I. Uh, it's not anywhere near to Savo. Um, uh, and then we got we went in um, for non sort of. I went to Nairobi National Park with my um, girlfriend's family, and um, uh, we had a look around there, and the national park signs are completely different. You had KWS everywhere, uh, armed police, and all that. And it didn't seem right. We went into, I mean, we, we, when we came out, we definitely saw the sign again. So it was uh, ne Negutini uh, N G uh, N G U T U N I Wildlife Con uh, Conservancy or something. Anyway, um, at the time, we we didn't, weren't really paying attention, but it didn't seem that. We'd, at the beginning, we weren't sure, but it did on Google Maps. It didn't say it until you really, really zoom in, so we didn't see it at the time. We, I thought we were in like the bottom of the Savo East because it's confusing on Google Maps. Um, so uh, we went we went in there, and then we just literally um, did circles around uh, like electrical pile on things um we saw elephants and water buffalo so we thought we probably were into south east but then i noticed we kept doing sort of loops near the sgr we weren't going any further in um it's a bit weird so um uh, i i i get a bit paranoid um sometimes anyway so i i i I like to know where I am, especially when I'm not with people I'm not sure about. So I was tracking the whole thing using Google Maps. Um, this is how I knew we wasn't sure we were into Savo anyway. Um, but I was watching what we were doing on Google Maps, and we didn't move probably any further than three or four kilometers in any direction, which was really weird because uh, obviously you pay for a whole day experience into Savo East, and we're not going anywhere. Anyway, so uh, I said to the guy. 
um, Moses that we wanted. Uh, there was another driver in there as well that we wanted to get some money out of the ATM. Um, so anyway, uh, we drove. Uh, I told him this a lot earlier, but anyway, we just drove to um, this uh, checkpoint place, um, which uh, was at the end of this. Um, what we thought was to Savo East. And there was a security guard waiting there. Uh, Moses got out um, and started having a row with a security guard. Um, and the security guard started pulled out his phone and started calling somebody. Um, uh, in, in the end, Moses ended up hitting the guy and knocking the phone out of his hand. Um, and Moses ended up staying with the guy. So we believe it. the conversation was something along the lines of uh, he wasn't allowed to go without payment or something. Um, and he had to stay there while we went out. So we went out. At this point, we were a bit thinking to ourselves, "This is really not right," because he's, you know, he's hit um, hit some man. We we're a bit scared to be honest, because we're stuck in a car with the guy and in a wildlife sanctuary where we believe there could be lions or something. So you can't exactly get out of the car. Anyway, um, go through this village. We get to Barclays Bank. Looking on a map now, I think it was in uh, the VOI. Um, we went out to there, around there somewhere, and went to Barclays Bank. I got out um, a bit of cash and was talking to my fiance um, about it then. And we thought it was a. We thought we were we, we were quite convinced there's something wrong. So um, anyway, my girlfriend uh, fiance decided um, that she was going to. Uh, phone her uncle who lived um uh not very well she li he lives in Mombasa um and anyway so she uh, he phoned her up uh, for, uh sorry she phoned him up and he he want um he wasn't convinced either that it was to Savo so he spoke to the guy on the phone not Moses the driver and the driver was lying to him saying it was um but at this point we were thinking well, you know because of the escalating their voices and uh, getting quite aggressive and everything so we thought well because it was supposed to be lunch next so we'll just wait till we get to the lodge which was the safari lodge um so what we did is we went to the um we i told my girlfriend just calm down a bit because she was arguing with the driver because she was convinced it wasn't to savo east and wanting her money back and i just had to convince her that um she needs to just you know keep quiet for the moment and pretend that was nothing wrong so we did that we um at the same time i was messaging um my fiance's um cousin who uh, to and some another and a fr family friend to uh, contact kws uh which was the closest because gustavo to savo was around the corner uh, to come and see us and meet them because uh, meet us because uh, we didn't want to go back with this guy um and we wanted to get him busted at that point because we were pretty convinced it was some sort of scam. Um, a legit company mentioned to us when we got a quote from them for the Tassavo East that there were people that were doing scams similar to what we were experiencing. So we, I think we were quite convinced at this point anyway. So uh, we went to this um, safari lodge which was called uh, Nikatuni, um N-G-U-T you and I safari lodge um, which was a very weird experience because uh, we went there um, we knew the KWS were coming they told us um, sort of 40 minutes um, at this point uh, when he was in contact with a captain um, who was phoning her on a Kenyan phone and uh, we were making these calls but um, that just while, while um, uh, our driver we're trying to keep our driver and everyone around us but we we had to delay as much as possible so we took a long time eating um and we we just ate hardly anything we literally ate um i mean i got like a little bit of meat because we were basically really scared of anything that was going to happen um i tried to speak to uh who seemed uh, somebody that looked like a manager about the situation he was wearing a white shirt everybody else was wearing sort of brown and looked like we were just dealing with the table stuff Anyway, uh, I asked him if I could speak to the manager uh, about the situation. This is what we were having, um, and he said, "Yeah, it was certainly." He was, it would try and find. It was smiling in a weird way, like um, 
it was really weird at the time. He was smiling as I was saying, yeah, I think we got scammed. I think they're with us or whatever. And, um, yeah, it was just really weird. This manager never appeared um, I, within the 40 minutes of us being there. And we knew, I thought I saw, I definitely, definitely did see the guy that came later on anyway. So he was around that manager, which was weird. Um, what other, what else was weird is, uh, we were speaking to some, uh, tourists, um, the British citizens that they believe they were into Savo East as well. Um, in, in this lodge and it definitely is not in Savo East. Uh, then the other thing that was um, people were going round, um, uh, waiters were going round telling everybody it was to Savo East. So it was really weird. Um, they, the guy, this guy would come round and he said, I, I tricked him, one of them, and I said, well, to Savo East is over there, isn't it? Um, because it was on the map, and it was, and he said, yes, it was over there. And then another one came by and said, no, no, this is to Savo East, randomly, and we didn't even weren't even talking to the guy. He just randomly said it to us in a conversation, which was really, really weird. Anyway, so we, at this point, I'm starting to think something's up with the place as well. Anyway, so uh, delayed it even more. We pretended that um, w there was an issue with back home with Winnie's um, sister. So anyway, uh, there wasn't, and it was just delaying, delaying. So nothing. We know, we spent money on drinks as well to try and delay the stuff. So we bought some coke and things. Um, anyway, KWS arrived. Um, and really surprised the crap out of the people we were with. They were really shitting themselves. Um, and I was surprised we got them caught. They walked past the KWS because they didn't think anything was up. And the KW we told the KWS it was them, and they grabbed. Uh, they told they called them over. 